What do you got? If you're self-employed, you'll need to verify that your business is on solid financial ground. VA lenders will often require your most recent two years worth of business and or personal tax returns. Why two? For a couple of reasons. Lenders will look to calculate an average income to better gauge your earnings trajectory and ability to repay the loan. Got it. They want to verify that your income isn't headed in the wrong direction. Decreases in self-employment income year over year can be a significant red flag and lenders will often want a written explanation for the drop. Not to mention the confidence that you can make those mortgage payments. Yes, you got it? Yeah. If a drop is too steep, lenders might ultimately decline your VA home loan application. What constitutes too steep will vary by lender and it's often at the discretion of their underwriting team. Do you follow what I'm saying? The borrower might have a perfectly reasonable explanation for a five or 10% drop in income year over year. In other cases, the decrease could signal major financial distress and push underwriters to ask for more documentation or reject the loan altogether. Okay, now we I, I got it. it. I got it. Now I understand. Every self-employment situation is different. Depending on your particular circumstances, lenders may closely examine the following records to assess your income and ability to repay, which are full individual income tax returns for the previous two years, full business income tax returns for the previous two years year-to-date profit and loss statements, current business balance sheets, a list of all stockholders or partners, and more. Which, no matter what anybody tells you, words and ideas can change the world. Most lenders will typically need two years of tax transcripts and tax returns to verify rental income. Schedule A, C, D, E, and F, income, and other unique income streams. Oh yeah, I'll write that down. Lenders aren't likely to consider yourself self-employed if you have a side business but earned most of your income as a salary W-2 employee. But if you want to count income from your freelance work, lenders will want to document that same two-year history from tax returns and Form 1099s. Are we done here? That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.